The 20 Most Common Birds in Ontario Number 1. American Robin American Robin is a common bird in city parks. You'll often see it on the grass foraging for insects and worms, especially after the rain. Number 2. Black-capped Chickadee Black-capped chickadee is one of Ontario's most loved birds, frequently being seen chirping about in forests with its characteristic call. They can become quite unnaturally aggressive when they are fed. Number 3. White-breasted nuthatch White-breasted nuthatch loves to walk up the trunks of trees. Can you believe this small bird can survive the harsh Ontario winter? Number 4. Northern Cardinal Northern Cardinal is unmistakable, especially the male with its beautiful red color. Number 5. Mallard Mallard is Ontario's most common duck. Although it is migratory, there are usually some that stay all winter long in warmer areas that still have running water. Number 6. American Black Duck American Black Duck is similar to Mallard, but the male does not have Mallard's distinctive breeding plumage. Check out Mallard vs. American Black Duck to make sure you've identified the right one. Number 7. Canada Goose Every Canadian recognizes Canada Goose, which is not only large, but very friendly. You can find them in any city park, especially during migration, where there may be thousands in one place. Number 8. Ring-billed Gull Although ring-billed gull was once rare, it is now a common sight on beaches. I love photographing these birds in pools of water. They can be distinguished from the herring gull by the ring on their bill and their yellow feet. Double-crested cormorant Double-crested cormorant is a swimming bird that hunts for fish in lakes and rivers. It's the only cormorant that can be seen regularly in Ontario, so it's not hard to identify. Watch for it sitting on rocks, drying its feathers. Number 10. Common Yellowthroat Common Yellowthroat is a warbler, but unlike other warblers, it is not too difficult to see or identify. It might not be as easy to see as some of the other birds here, but then again, it might turn up in your garden. Number 11. Yellow Warbler Yellow Warbler is one of my favorite warblers. It is not only yellow, but often has subtle and beautiful red streaks in its plumage. Number 12. Great Blue Heron Great Blue Heron is frequently seen on the banks of rivers, hunting for fish with its infinite patience. It is a large bird, and it should be very easy to spot. Number 13. Song Sparrow Song Sparrow welcomes the spring in Ontario with its beautiful, melodious call. If you sit patiently near a swamp, you might even get close enough to one to photograph it. Number 14. House Sparrow House Sparrow is another beautiful sparrow, but it's not a native species here. It originally came from Europe through purposeful introductions. It is rare in natural areas like forests, preferring more urban habitats. Number 15. American Crow American Crow is the most common corvid in Ontario. They stay here in the winter and can be seen in huge numbers on cornfields in the winter, searching for food. Number 16. Grey Catbird Grey Catbird really has a call that sounds like a cat. It's a nice grey bird that has a slightly darker grey cap. Number 17. Red-Winged Blackbird The call of the red-winged blackbird is one of my favorite bird calls of all time, and it can be heard especially strongly in the spring, where the males start selecting territories and the females build nests. Number 18. European Starling European Starling, as its name implies, is another non-native bird, yet it has a mysteriously beautiful iridescent plumage. Number 19. American Red Start American Red Start is another popular warbler that is most frequently found in forests. The male is especially easy to identify because it has a contrasting black and bright red plumage. Number 20. Wood Duck The Wood Duck is a small duck that is very frequent in city parks and elsewhere. It is most famous for the breeding plumage of the male, which is amazingly colorful. I hope you enjoyed this list of the 20 most common birds in Ontario, and I'll see you again next time.